Alrighty traders, George here. Time for a look at the week ahead and specifically gold and the gold miners. This is the gold futures chart I've been showing you in the live room and here's this continuation we were talking about. Uh, initially we were looking at this pop here. We caught this long then talked about either exiting and being flat or going short for this bit of a fade here looking for 1170 to cap any sell-offs which happened and that started the second leg up this is the one-to-one -one harmonic that's underway right now this line's already dropped in before this impulse starts here and you can see now that it transitions back over this 1200 threshold here it's moving towards this uh, towards this next series of targets so we're knocking on the door to the first target zone right now at uh, 1226s then we've got a little higher to go to respect the ceiling of this balance beam here we've got a bit of an air pocket over that that pulls us to the one-to-one -one harmonic projection zone really anywhere from about 1250 uh, up to the upper 1250s here to the um, floor of this area and the one-to-one -one harmonic so I'm looking for just south of 1255 for the extended so this is all set up by price transitioning through this most heavily traded zone here so really bearish below and recovering above puts the bulls in a better spot and able to work against the trading commitment that lies ahead so when there's more it's tougher to get through and when it opens up we could see a bigger pop so a move from target two to target three could be pretty abrupt so this is looking good as a bullish rotation here this downtrend is broken we're going on to our second impulse already and uh, we're clearing out of some of the more heavily traded zones all of that is uh, speaking well for gold just a caveat gold is in a pretty delicate state here every rally up has been beaten down at some point so watch the key targets above as strength of signal to the downside if price starts to break below with that being said let's look at some more gold related uh, trading issues so here's a refined look at the GLD on this 180 minute chart. This is just going back 120 days here. And here's the like setup with it crossing its dominant uh, ceiling here and then basically filling up to the next beam. It's already on uh, route to doing that a little bit higher. Another dollar or so it'll be there and then an air pocket above targets two and three. Uh, initially that's uh, what to look for is a retrace against this last bearish impulse here underway right now watch for this zone to to not be breached by the bears okay the important thing to note is price is over the dominator that's where all the trading commitment is and it's above that right now so that's bullish let's look at some miners gold corp having a little bit more difficulty here it's just starting to break out of the top here um, but it's got a tail pushing off the top here as it broke up higher this morning it's sort of faded back and is trading just at about where this beam is so just a little bit lower here would be a, a sign of weakness that this little mini gap up and attempted breakout is just not uh, seeing the strength that uh, perhaps gold itself is showing above these are the three key target zones to watch but really this rotation that's happening right now for gold corp really important and with gold moving the way it is and gold corp not moving the way it is that's a red flag for gold corp and maybe a potential red flag for the miners as a um, no pun intended but a canary in a coal mine here so watch gold corp for strength or weakness at the spot where it is right now uh, it could be resolved pretty easily with this swing high taken out but that needs to be seen that's gold corp uh, everyone asks about silver wheaton i'm going to put that in right now silver wheaton has had a pop-up off the floor here with a strong rally up but the macro downtrend here is still intact it's going on its second impulse and it's just pressing into the floor of this area right now so the aggressive long is just about to get triggered here and this would be the first area that you'd watch but really this the stronger trade would be to see it get over the ceiling of its dominant trading zone here and at that point then looking to retrace against this bearish impulse here so silver Wheaton's underneath its dominant trading zone. Gold Corp is stalled out at the breakout level um, but above the dominant trading zone. Newmont is doing something along the lines of what Gold Corp is doing. It's trading above a heavy traded zone. It's below the dominant zone but it's also fading back after gapping up. So Gold Corp is having a hard time getting out of this sort of rest stop area of trading commitment a little bit higher over 23s and we should see a pop up into the low 24s, upper 24s here. Anything over this level would be a 
new sign of strength for Newmont. But right now, after this big rally, there's a lot of trading commitment here. It gapped down, pushed right off of that zone, and it's having a hard time bouncing out of this area. Likewise, if it starts trading below about 22, that opens this up and could see an easy 10% haircut. Huge air pocket below that, and it's having a hard time breaking out right now. So Newmont and Gold Corp showing a bit of weakness. Silver Wheaton showing some strength, but it's below its most heavily traded zone. Freeport is at least above its dominant spike here. It needs to go up a little higher to trade over this ceiling here. So it's got to go up another 40 cents or so to do that. And then it's got a huge air pocket that takes us up to the floor would be at about 21. And then over that next two areas of interest. So uh, Freeport's at least holding its own here. But it needs to show a little more strength to really trigger a clean long signal here. And just like any of these, if it breaks a bit lower, trading commitment really drops off. I could see a pretty sharp spike down like it has the last time. So Freeport looking okay, but not really playing ball with what gold's doing today. The HP looks the best to me here with this very solid trading commitment zone here. We're just breaking over the ceiling of it right now. We're over that by 14 cents and really getting through these first two spikes here and then a retest of the spike up at the top would be the areas that I'd look to. Um, the good news for BHP is it's not fading back compared to Gold Corp or Newmont and it's not below the dominator like Silver Wheaton and it's followed through unlike Freeport. So BHP is the strongest looking in terms of its price action today. Going back to the main gold chart here you can see this is looking pretty good. We're pressed right up to the top here. We're not fading much at all. We're at 1224s. We're starting to knock on the door of this range here. So from now into the next $12 or so, $14 or so, we could see a more significant resistance swing come into the mix. Whether we do a gap fill here or not, TBD, the strongest thing would be is if we don't drop below this level here. So if we stay above about 1220, that would be the strongest case for the bulls and we just press on up nail these targets and then maybe have a pullback and do a three drives to a top here uh, anything over 1260s would likely set up a trip to retest the spike high up here so gold's looking pretty good here everything else really isn't outside of bhp um, so keep that in mind we'll be on top of this in the live room but there's a comprehensive look at gold gld and a handful of the best gold mining stocks uh, that'll do it for now we'll see you back in the live room